one important thing that helps you with your daily business and find the information you need is um, the, the search functionality. What you see up here is a search field. No matter where you go, you have the search field up there. Sometimes there are already filters set in there. You see that. So to do is to read. If you delete it, some more information pop up. If you go to calendar, for example, you have the search field as well. So what you could do is start typing and it suggests um, search in meeting, so in the names, search for attendees, or search for tags, or search for responsible partners. This is no matter where you go, if you start to sell things later on, if you're searching for a customer, um, if you're searching for tasks in the project management section, it doesn't matter, the search field will always help you. So, um, in some situations, the search field is not there, but where you, where you will always get it, so if you go to list view, and then what's even more amazing, if you can't find what you really want to have, or there's so much data, it's really hard to define, um, you click on that arrow right here. What you have by default in most of the parts of Odo is you can group that information. So you can say, okay, who's responsible? Um, you could say availability. Um, you can group by privacy, just public events. So, or you can just say, I filter the information. So here you get all information but packed into groups. And here you just got shown certain information you're looking for. So let's say that's just my events um, where I'm taking part. Yeah? And my meetings. So, um, unread messages, for example, as well. Yeah? You see when there are messages um, regarding that meeting, so you haven't read so far. Read so far, sorry. And... The second thing is that you have the advanced search right here. No matter where you are in Odo, most of the times you have that advanced search. So this gives you a lot more options. If you click the drop down, you can say, I'm looking for the end date, the duration, um, I'm looking for a special phone call, um, I'm looking for a special m message um, and the content within the message. Um, this is not that important for appointments because usually you know at least um, who you wanted to meet um, or r barely when you wanted to meet him. So, um, but imagine you were looking for a customer. It really makes sense to look for the name or um, just um, filter all the customers depending on, let's say, the turnover they make, etc., etc. Right now, it's just an example. Later on, I will get back to that um, more and more. But for now, that you just have heard it, um, it's very important because you find everything through that filter option or advanced search. So you can even say, um, I want to search by attendees. Um, with the name Patrick and you can add a condition and say plus um, the date of the month is let's say April okay there's no appointment in there so um, this won't work but um, you can add as mu much conditions as you want so very advanced and the next thing I really like is that you can save that filter. So if you're looking for some partners with a turnover, let's say over 500,000 euros, um, you can just go here and say, save that filter and say, money. And now you can say, I share this filter with all the users of Odo and save 
And what happens is that it goes right here into your favorites. So very important if you have uh, a complex search um, algorithm, let's call it like that, um, or people with turnover over 500,000 uh, um, who are born in the year 1965 um, and who are male and not female, if you would need information like that, you could put it in, save the filter and put it here. And what's even cooler, if you go in here, you have that filter done and you can automatically say, add it to my dashboard, right? Um, a dashboard, everybody knows that from um, web solutions or software as a service. So put it to my dashboard and we name it money. Add. What's happening now is in the reporting section, you have your dashboard where you go. So by default, you will have all the dates with the money in here. Really makes sense if you're thinking about logistics, um, which kind of deliveries would have make, been made today um, or this week, or which phone calls to make for sales. Um, you can customize your dashboard how you like it. We will dig deeper into it as more uh, information flow into our system. Right now, it doesn't make any sense to show you more about that, but just that you have heard.